For centuries we've looked up at the night sky and wondered, what lies beyond the stars? We've mapped constellations, named galaxies, and sent probes hurling through space. But no telescope, not even the legendary Hubble, has peeled back the cosmic veil quite like the James Webb Space Telescope. Born from decades of engineering brilliance, launched into the void in December 2021, and stationed a million miles from Earth, JWST is not just a telescope, it's a time machine, a stargate, and a philosopher's lens rolled into one. With a mirror over 21 feet wide and infrared vision that cuts through clouds of cosmic dust, JWST doesn't just observe the universe, it rewrites it. Every pixel it captures, every faint glow it records, tells a story from billions of years ago, when stars were first born and galaxies were young and chaotic. JWST isn't just answering our questions, it's creating new ones. It's challenging what we thought we knew about the beginning of time, the building blocks of life, and the nature of reality itself. In a very real sense, it's not just showing us the universe, it's showing us who we are within it. Let's take a journey through six of the most jaw-dropping discoveries this mighty eye in the sky has gifted humanity. Discoveries that stretch from the birth cries of the cosmos to the possibility of alien life. Galaxies, too old for their time. JWST's first major shocker came when it peered into the early universe and found something that shouldn't be there. Massive, mature galaxies just 300 million years after the Big Bang. This defied everything we knew about cosmic evolution. In its earliest scans, JWST detected six galaxies that were bigger, brighter, and more structured than expected for their cosmic age. These galaxies had already formed large bulges and appeared densely packed with stars, as if billions of years of growth had somehow been compressed into just a few hundred million years. This discovery is forcing scientists to reconsider the speed of galaxy formation. Were our simulations flawed? Did galaxies form faster than we thought? Or are there unknown physics at play? One thing is clear. JWST's window into the infant universe has thrown a wrench into the timeline of cosmic history. And that's exactly the kind of chaos science thrives on. Unveiling Hidden Star Nurseries Imagine watching stars being born in real time. JWST's infrared sensors can see through thick clouds of gas and dust, revealing stellar nurseries that were completely invisible to Hubble. The telescope has transformed regions like the Pillars of Creation and the Carina Nebula from ghostly silhouettes into vibrant active star factories. In a single image, JWST captures thousands of new stars, some still wrapped in the swirling gas of their formation. These high-resolution images have revealed jets of material blasting from newborn stars, shock waves from dying ones, and the raw, chaotic beauty of cosmic creation. More than stunning visuals, this data helps scientists understand how stars form, how long they take to ignite, and what kind of planetary systems might emerge around them. It's like watching the universe in labor, giving birth to the engines that will one day power galaxies, light up planets, and possibly nurture life. The atmosphere of exoplanets, a breath of alien air. One of JWST's most tantalizing capabilities is its ability to study exoplanet atmospheres. It does this by observing the light from a star as a planet passes in front of it. The light filters through the planet's atmosphere, leaving spectral fingerprints of whatever gases are present. JWST's first major atmospheric analysis came from WASP-39b, a Saturn-sized exoplanet. The telescope not only detected water vapor, but also carbon dioxide, a first. These observations confirmed the presence of atmospheric chemistry far more complex than we'd seen before. More recently, JWST stunned the world by detecting methane and carbon dioxide on K218b, a planet in the habitable zone of its star. Even more intriguing, hints of dimethyl sulfide DMS, a molecule produced on Earth almost exclusively by microbial life. While these findings aren't a declaration of alien life, they show JWST can sniff out the kind of chemistry we associate with biology. We're closer than ever to answering one of humanity's oldest questions. Are we alone? The deepest cosmic image ever taken. JWST's first deep field image changed everything in a single snapshot. In what looked like a cluster of stars was actually a panorama of thousands of galaxies. 
some so far away that their light had been traveling for over 13 billion years. The image was achieved by staring at a tiny patch of sky for just 12.5 hours. The result? Galaxies warped by gravity, starbursts in motion, and a visual chorus from the dawn of time. This image wasn't just pretty, it was profound. It captured the complexity of the early universe with stunning clarity, offering data that will feed cosmologists for years to come. It was as if JWST held up a mirror to the beginning of everything, and the universe blinked. Black holes in unexpected places. Until JWST came along, we thought black holes only formed after large galaxies matured. But Webb flipped that idea on its head by finding supermassive black holes inside very young galaxies, some less than 500 million years old. One such galaxy, CEERS 1019, shocked astronomers by harboring a black hole with 9 million solar masses in its center. That's unusually large for such a young galaxy. The finding hints that black holes and galaxies might have grown together, or that black holes helped galaxies form, rather than the other way around. It opens up the mystery of how fast black holes can grow, and whether there might be even earlier ones hiding in the cosmic shadows. This is more than a physics puzzle. It's a fundamental question about how structure emerges in our universe. JWST may soon uncover even earlier seeds of black holes, revealing how these dark engines shape the fate of galaxies. Organic molecules in planet-forming disks. JWST is also turning its attention to protoplanetary disks, the regions around young stars where planets are born. What it found there might be the beginning of life itself. In systems like the young star IRAS 2A, JWST detected icy grains rich in complex organic molecules, methanol, acetaldehyde, and even formamide, a compound critical to forming amino acids. These molecules are essentially the building blocks of biology. The fact that these ingredients are present in early star systems suggests that the chemistry of life might be universal, not unique to Earth. Life, or at least the potential for it, might emerge wherever planets are born. JWST isn't just looking for life, it's tracing its cosmic ingredients back to their origin. In doing so, it's painting a picture of a universe not sterile and cold, but rich with potential, brimming with the seeds of existence. The James Webb Space Telescope was built to see the first galaxies. But what it's truly doing is reshaping our understanding of everything, time, matter, biology, and our place in the cosmic drama. It's unveiling an early universe more mature and complex than we ever imagined. It's watching stars being born and dying in stunning high definition. It's peeling back the atmospheres of distant worlds, searching for the fingerprints of life. And perhaps most poetically, it's finding the seeds of biology nestled within the cradles of planetary birth. What makes JWST extraordinary isn't just its technology, it's what it represents. Our collective yearning to know, to understand, to belong to something bigger. It stands as a monument to human curiosity, a testament to cooperation across borders, and a beacon of hope in a time when we need awe more than ever. And we're only at the beginning. With every observation, every light curve, every spectral line, JWST continues to stretch the fabric of what we believe is possible. The telescope may sit in silent darkness, but its voice is loud, clear, and endlessly illuminating. As we stare into these ancient lights from billions of years ago, one truth becomes beautifully clear. The universe isn't a cold, indifferent void. It's a story. And thanks to the James Webb Space Telescope, we are finally learning how to read it.